Hey, what's up guys? Josh coming to you live once again with Barefoot Shoe Reviews. And today, again, we're talking, excuse me, we're talking sandals. Uh, you need to say, uh, again, barefoot sandals, really? Aren't all sandals barefoot sandals? No, they're not. And here's why. Barefoot shoes have a very specific aesthetic or a set of values that we ascribe to uh, for maintenance of healthy feet and not all sandals hold to those standards and values. So what are those standards and values? First of all, here's a sandal. Dig it. It's got a heel strap um, and then one strap going between the front toe. That's it. Pretty basic uh, look and all black, black soles, black straps, everything. Uh, uh, like, I don't know, nylon webbing or something. I suck at that kind of stuff. You guys know that if you watch my videos, knowing the exact materials, Velcro on the back, easy adjustments. Once you get it uh, adjusted for the shape and size of your foot, you, you basically never have to adjust it. I, I haven't adjusted it since I originally did it. Uh, I just slip the front part of my foot in, I pull the heel strap over, boom, done. They're on. Um, so barefoot values, right, on sandals. First of all, zero drop from heel to toe, <laughs> meaning no slant, no heel, no anything weird there. Uh, second thing, no arch support, no bump there, unnecessarily supporting your arch, which does plenty good the way it's designed. An arch is a very powerful uh, architectural design, and that's the way your foot's designed. And if you don't jam stuff under it for your whole life to where the muscles, ligaments, and tendons atrophy, get weak, uh, they will remain strong, and you will avoid the foot problems associated with your arches if you just let them work and be the way they were supposed to be. Um, so zero drop, zero arch support, anatomic foot shape. So ordinarily on a shoe, you might say uh, uh, a wide toe box. This is not a box. It's just a toe area. So a wide toe area. That's the shape of a foot. It's not a pointy, weird shape. That's not like a foot. It's actual foot shape. And what else? Oh, all the flexibility and grand feel. Now these are different. I'll show you my other. I did another video on my other pair of Shama sandals, the, the all browns, you see how thick the sole is. And now compare it to this guy. I'm gonna put them right next to each other as best I can on the video, but look at that. So the black ones are like half as thin-ish as the brown ones. So it's ultra thin on these black warrior shoes. I mean, like the, the most thin, beautiful, I love that. So, um, you know, the roll test on these guys, how tightly can you roll and how many times can you roll? I don't know, look at that. And then the taco test, <laughs> the taco test from the front. This is how I normally do it for the video. Full taco test, uh, great flexibility there. I mean, twist as much as you want, crumble it up into a ball, throw it away. Uh, there you go. But these are amazing sandals. Love them. I had two pairs of these, okay? Oh, I do want to point something out different than the All Browns. The All Browns are the Warache style where the strap kind of wraps around the outside of there. Some people don't like that. So nowadays... Uh, Shama has taken to popping it through and doing like a lug situation. I don't know what the terminology is, but this on the bottom and same with the, the toe uh, strap there. So you don't have that kind of unusual looking wrap around, which, you know, not a, not a huge deal. Uh, but I actually prefer this newer style. So it's awesome. My older ones, my black ones were the Warachi style as well. And they wrapped around. Cool story. I've had those, well, maybe not a cool story, but a story. I, I had those other black ones for several years, actually. That was the first pair I bought. And uh, I recently lost them, like within, probably within a month, actually, maybe a month and a half tops. I go surfing regularly. I'm here in San Diego. I, I surf, you know, several times a week, uh, weather allowing and, and life allowing and things. Uh, I've got other things going on, of course, but multiple times per week I get out there and I... I don't like to walk barefoot from my car across the park, the filthy black top parking lot with oil and everything else uh, back and forth. So I wear sandals. I wear sandals from my car to the beach. I leave my sandals on the beach. I go surfing. I come back. I put my sandals on. I shower. I get in my car. I go. Uh, but my dang first pair of black um, Shama sandals got stolen on the beach. Doggone it. Cheap suckers. I mean, these are not cheap sandals, first of all, but they were old. They were like four years old, dude, okay? They might be like $100 sandals or whatever they were when I bought, I don't know. Um, but they were like four or five, I don't know how old, but multiple years, com completely conformed to my foot. 
Um, the straps were, you know, everything's in great working order, but why would you want somebody's old sandals, dude? Come on. <laughs> so somebody robbed my sandals. And then like a week later, I was wearing cheap dollar store sandals and somebody stole those. I couldn't believe it. And I've been surfing there for years, multiple times. I mean, doing stuff at the beach for you. I've never had a pair of sandals stolen. And for like a solid year and a half now, I've been there tons, hundreds of times. And um, never gotten a pair of sandals stolen. But then within two weeks, I had two two pairs of sandals stolen, one of which was my shamas. Dang it. Uh, so somebody got a, scored a sweet pair of sandals, even though they're very used. And so now I bought some 99 cent sandals and I wrote all over them ugly words about uh, how cheap somebody has to be to steal sandals off the beach while someone is surfing. <laughs> and so far those haven't gotten stolen. But anyways, that's my story. And so the bottom line is Shama sandals, five stars out of five of, of the barefoot sandals. I love these. I like the thin, almost nothing on your feet. It's just barely strapped on. It's like light as air. I've worn these uh, for traveling on airlines and just uh, simplicity sake travel in other countries. Um, these things take take a beating. These I, I think it's Vibram soles. Yep, Vibram makes these soles. A light light tread on there. Um, they're not hiking sandals per se, but you know they're great. They're freaking amazing. Five stars out of five all the way. If you want a good pair of barefoot sandals that's gonna last. Dude, these things will take a beating, uh, take a licking and keep on ticking as some other company said. I don't remember. But anyways, that's it. Shama sandals. I love them. Oh, I wanted to show it to you on my foot in case you haven't seen. Real quick. I know this video is getting a longer than most of my videos, but you probably want to see what they look like on the foot. So I'll show you real quick. Here we go. And this is looking down. Sorry, the lighting's terrible down there, guys, but it should give you some idea. There's the strap in the front, what they look like. And then from the side view, the little heel strap there. I'll go around the outside edge here. And I mean, it's a sandal, dude. What do you want to see, right? They'll do, they'll just, they're great. And looking maybe straight down view. Sorry again for the terrible lighting and don't mind my toes. <laughs> Anyways, Shama Sandals, dude. I love you guys. Great company, uh, great shoes. I hope I can get some more, but you know, um, We'll see what, what life deals. Um, that's it. Hit like, hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. Sandals, athletic shoes, casual shoes, uh, office casual shoes, full-on dress shoes, all barefoot um, values. If you like barefoot shoes, check out my reviews. Thanks again. See you guys next time.